What's going on guys, I'm the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video I will be reviewing the book Star Wars X-Wing Solo Command by Aaron Alston. It was released February 2nd, 1999, and published by Bantam Spectrum, and it takes place 8 ABY, or 8 years after the Battle of Yavin. Alright, so if you like this kind of video, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more Star Wars book reviews in the future. And there will be spoilers for this book, so consider that your warning. Alright, in this book, you have Wraith Squadron and Rogue Squadron. They team up to take out Warlord Zinj. Uh, they're part of Han the Han Solo's task force to hunt Warlord Zinj, and... Throughout this book, they have several engagements with Zinj and that, but at the end of the book, it basically results in a what the Republic believes is a new Republic, I should say, is a, a victory because they believe that the Iron Fist warlord, Zinj's, you know, Super Star Destroyer, is destroyed, so they create a victory, but it really isn't. Zinj just made him think that Zinj gets away and all that so obviously he'll pop up in another book so yeah that's a that's basically the book you know a couple of things of note is that uh one of the wraiths Lara not still she is a former imperial spy and the wraiths find out in this book so she leaves and she joins Zinj's uh team or whatever uh but she's still a wraith so she's sabotaging zinge where she can and eventually you know she does manage to sabotage iron fist quite a bit and then she flees to corellia and then another thing is like in the other x-wing books the the pilots of the squadron whether it's wraith squadron or rogue squadron they play pranks on each other and you know, they continue to do that with, you know, and with an Ewok re related uh, pranks and stuff like that. So it's, it's kind of interesting. Well, what I liked, um, I liked in this book that it's, you get a little bit of Rogue Squadron in here. You kind of get a little, a, a bit of an update since it's been a, a few books. So that's nice. Uh, you get quite a bit of Han Solo in this, which I like. And, uh, yeah, the, these books are kind of fun and funny. Uh, all the jokes that they play on each other and stuff like that, it's, it's, it's pretty entertaining. And what I didn't like. My only issue with this book is that I feel like the ending is a, a bit unsatisfied. The ending is a bit unsatisfying. I, I was kind of hoping that, you know, at least Iron Fist would get destroyed like, Zinj could be, you know, he could fly off in a shuttle and he pops up in a different book, that's fine. But, like, I don't know, like, it's not really a victory, but, hey, that's okay. Sometimes that happens in, in things, but I just would have liked a little bit more of a, oh, well. Yeah, overall, I, I, I enjoyed the book. It was, it was a fun read. It's fun characters. Uh, it's not my favorite. This might be my least favorite of uh, the seven X-Wing books I've read so far. Uh, so that it's going to get a 7.5 out of 10. Um, it's still worth reading. But, yeah. Well, you can let me know what you thought of this book in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, thanks for watching.